Years ago, Rockford's North Main and Auburn Roundabout debuted. The goal was to create a safe and efficient way to control traffic, but some believe it's done the opposite. The city is now trying something new. Blake Dietz joins us to explain. Blake, what are they doing? Yeah, Mimi, Tom, the city tells me they will be testing a lane reduction at the roundabout, which they say has been a frequent site of accidents. While the city says they're hopeful it will be a major improvement, some believe a bigger problem still remains. It is a, it is a plan, and that's better than no plan. Um, whether it works or not, uh, uh, I don't know. That was the mood of the Friends of the Veterans Memorial Circle as the city announced a test study to reduce the two-lane roundabout down to one after numerous accidents. The group's co-chairman says while this study is a step, he is disappointed in the decision. I would not have done this, uh, but this was not my choice because of one fundamental reason. The bad drivers won. They absolutely won. We surrendered. We said, you know what? We can't control you, so let's have the vast majority of drivers suffer because of the few. The city says action needed to be taken at the intersection, which experiences more accidents than any other, according to officials, who believe the lane reduction will reduce the largest cause of collisions. We are optimistic that this reduction in um, lanes will um, will uh, hopefully reduce the accidents. The predominant amount of, of accidents we get out there are failure to yield and improper lane usage. Uh, we believe that this is going to significantly impact the improper lane usage. Redfern believes the heart of the problem lies with traffic enforcement. There's enforcement, education, and infrastructure. And I think that I, my uh, worry is that all we've done is done one, infrastructure. What we believe you need is we need to start getting more of a comprehensive, holistic plan that really gets all the departments ready, specifically the Rockford Police Department. The city says the study will con be conducted over the next year with the decision on whether to make the lane reduction permanent coming sometime in spring 2025. Mimi. All right, thanks, Blake.